A terrorist and self-appointed political commentator, Peter Dirk Ace, has broken his silence on the political changes within the country. Ace is best known for his character Vita Bezedenot, a white Afrikaner socialite and self-proclaimed political activist. Ace is currently in Nelson Mandela Bay doing two productions. In one, Tania Vita gives her views on the changing political landscape. The other, The Echo of a Noise, is a tell-all monologue on the life and times of Peter Dirk Ace. SABC reporter Jade Lee Paulser sat down with the satirical legend ahead of one of his shows. As one of the most influential South Africans of our time, with me I do have a very important person who I have grown up watching over the television screens. He's been in comedy for 40 years. We know him as Evita Besedenhout, but we also know him as the comedian Peter Dirk Ace. Thank you for joining us, Peter. What is Peter's views on the pol politics of the country? Well, from the point of view of a citizen of a democracy, I sat on that Monday waiting for something to happen and nothing happened. I sat on Tuesday and I thought he is going to go today and he didn't go that day. And then on Wednesday morning he was going to be uh, giving a press conference at 10 o'clock in the morning and he didn't do that. So I thought, Jacob Zuma, get the hell out of here, where are you going? And then just before midnight he resigned, you know, just before struck 12 and his limousine turned into a pumpkin. And I suddenly thought, okay. Here we go. The page has been turned. What now? Um, of course, the next day, there was Cyril Ramaphosa sworn in. And then the Friday night, he gave his sona uh, address to the nation, which was an extremely professional leadership address. And he has been really, truly doing some wonderful things. I mean, jogging with people in Guguletu and then being, I don't know, the whole time Diff so different from what we've had in the last eight years and I'm very relieved as a as a citizen of our democracy that our, we've had a very good day for our democracy I think it proves that we are a very healthy democracy do you think this is a new dawn for South Africa do you think 2018 is going to be a positive year for every South African Cyril Ramaphosa as president has to clean the cat sandbox in Lituli house because the fat cats have used it and left or their Saxon world diarrhea behind. So lots has to be done. We as citizens have to do our homework. We've got to find out where the good politicians are. There are good politicians in each party and support them and make them know that we support them. And the bad ones must go to jail. It's as simple as that. There's no second chance anymore. Um, we are on that road. So we've left the gravel road and we're back on the tarred road. So that's a good sign. And the potholes are getting less and less and less, which is a better sign. This year marks Nelson Mandela's centenary. Madiba would have been 100 years old in July. And I'm told that you had quite a fond relationship with him. You guys got on quite well. And I'm also told that you used to send him Cook Sisters. Tell me more about that relationship. Absolutely. The Cook Sisters are very, very important. Evita sent him Cook Sisters, gave him Cook Sisters. They met, they, Evita and Madiba met at an ANC rally just before the election. Um, I was asked to bring Evita there because they wanted the, to entertain the people. I think there were about 40,000 people from the Cape Flats at this, at this huge rally. And they all seemed to know Evita. It was just wonderful because she arrived in her Furtrekker rock, her orange, white and blue rock. And then when it was over, I thought, well, now I can get changed back into me because I also want to meet Nelson Mandela and, and um, Alan Busak, who was organizing it. This is before we knew that he was a naughty man. Um, and he said, no, 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 Madiba wants to meet Evita. So there was a situation where I was in my dress, sitting in the front row on the stage, and Nelson Mandela came onto the stage, and he suddenly said, oh, Evita, you look so beautiful, and hugged, and... And we had this wonderful friendship. Um, he would pick up, he would phone me and he would say, oh, Peter, bring a veta. I want her, I need her. At, at all these wonderful things he organized to raise money for AIDS children and to have these extraordinary democratic gatherings of very famous people. And Evita had a 50 minutes of fame. And I remember about the 20th time that it happened. And I, but there was just a moment that he was holding her hand. <laughs> and I just said to him, I said to him, President Mandela, every time you see me, I'm dressed as Evita. He said, don't worry, Peter, I know you're inside. <laughs>
the man behind the alter ego Evita Peseda note, we get to know Peter Dirk Ace. Now, one of their shows is called The Echo of Noise. Can you tell us more about that show? I only thought I'd do it for one night at the, at, the, at the National Arts Festival two years ago. And it was such an enormous success. People said, we've never heard this. We've never seen this. This is without you and your characters and your with the wigs and the eyelashes and the politicians. and the, It's just telling the story. And um, I've just been really enjoying sharing the story with so many people who have actually shared their experiences with me as well because we all share parents, we all share growing up and having dreams and, and having sadness and, and, and being frightened and being happy. And so that's what it is. It is this extraordinary um, experience. And then just going back to the comparison between Evita and Peter Dirkles, has it been challenging over the years to kind of separate the two characters? Do you know, I don't separate the two characters because there is only one character, and that is uh, Evita. She's a character I perform. Um, I spend about 2% of my time on her, mainly staying on a diet. <laughs> um, you know, and just seeing that she looks good. I mean, that's the whole thing. She's not a, she's not a drag character at all. She is a, a person with a three-dimensional history and, and opinions, and she's been with people for 40 years. So people have grown up with her. Um, so that's a, a, a great discipline for me. Um, but I certainly don't get mixed up. I mean, she says things that I wouldn't say, frankly, that I couldn't say, and sometimes need to be said. So I'm glad I have that mouthpiece to be able to actually, as, as a member of the ANC Evita, can actually say things that I, outside, would be seen to be um, unfair and, and, and a little bit um, possibly racist, which I never want to be because that's something I've been fighting all my life. So uh, I have great respect for Mrs. Besaidnet and I'm very pleased I never have to meet her face to face.